now let's try to do this in real space. So the new method I'm going to describe now is called finite difference. So we will discretize in both real and time. So in fact I've done the work here. So this is my 0, this is my L, right? So same equation, let us just focus on same equation and I have discretized it. So let us convert this, this equation in finite difference form. So let us write it here. So the simplest scheme is, I will do this by central difference scheme, double derivative. So I will label them as i, i minus 1, i plus 1. So partial derivative at point i, this point, psi i. Now also I have the time index, so let us say I am doing it time t. So this is my variable at n. Okay, this this is time. Remember, I had put a label. This is for time index. Okay. So okay. So what I'm trying to do here is that I convert this to again OD is, but value the function at every time. So this is a time t. Let's just put time t. So this becomes OD. I focus on this point. A time t. So I need to compute this right hand side double derivative with the values of the function at time t. So it will be alpha. So what is the double derivative by time uh, by finite difference? So psi i plus 1 minus 2 psi i plus psi i minus 1 by a square. Okay, so this is my double derivative. So what do what have I done? I got ODEs. How many ODEs have I got? Equal to the number of points. So uh, so this is let's say there are n points. But you have to be careful. Uh, should I time step? the function here and here, should I time step it or not? What is the value of the function at those walls? 0. So I should not time step the boundary values. So these two, well, this I do not want to time step value of the function here and here, because they are zeros. So these are the boundary conditions, psi at 0 psi at L boundary. So do not don't, uh, time step, so do not write equation for that, but write equation for everything else. Okay. Now how do I time step this? Usual technique, so psi i at n plus 1 equal to psi i at n plus delta t times this. Okay, Euler explicit. So plus, actually there is a minus sign, no? No, no, this, this is a plus sign, plus sign. Plus alpha by S squared delta t. Now these are computed at time t. So it should be psi i n plus 1, 2 psi i not in n. Okay. Now in principle I have solved the problem. I have to just put in a computer and uh, solve it. Right? I mean you have to just instead of one ODE you have to solve 
OD is for all the points except the boundaries. So this is a finite difference. Now what should be my delta T and what should be in delta X. So my spectral method gives you some prescription about delta T. So something should happen here as well right I mean you cannot uh, one method says something other method some reflection should be appearing in the other uh, in the method 2 as well ok. So to figure it out let us try to put some trial solution. So trial solution is I am going to try psi of x t. So I am going to infinite I will put in this equation f t. So this is to test stability ok. So this is a standard technique. So I am going to put this amplitude will it grow in time or will it sink in time or will it decrease in time. So I need to try this and I am going to plug it in here ok. So I hope there is enough space. So let us just plug it in here. So the time derivative will act only on this. So d f by d t e to the power i k x ok. So, this is in fact by the way this is a general technique. Huh? So, you have to uh, for stability in finite difference scheme this is what we try. I am trying to check the stability test ok. So, let us just plug that in here. So, you do i k x d f i d t equal to right hand side alpha by s square. Now f will come out from this expression. Now these guys will be come appearing here. So f is coming out. Now what will I get here? I get u power i k x plus h. So this psi i plus 1 this point. So, this h this x ok. So, this is f i plus 1. If you are confused please let me know right away this fine minus 2 I am going to put this here i minus 1 f i k x minus h minus 2 i So let us take it to the IKS common both sides and that cancels. So df by dt is alpha by h squared. Now this is going to be 2 cos x uh, 2 cos h. So you got e to i k h plus e to power minus i k h. So that is 2 cos k h minus 2. So e to power i k x got cancelled and there is f here. So, so df by dt looks like this. So convert it to ODE that is and we know how to solve ODEs. Now does it tell you something about the stability now df by dt is this equation. So what is the bound on this? So this can become 2 right max is 2. So, uh, x 2. So, I get 4 alpha by h squared. So, this is bounded bounded. Uh, ok. So, make it minus 1 then you get minus 2 ok. So, this is uh, the modulus modulus mod of this is max is 2. So, for this case stability. So, d by dt of this sort. So, this will tell you that Euler first order, Euler explicit, Euler is always first order, but Euler explicit uh, will be fn plus 1 equal to fn 1 minus 4 alpha.
okay. So, for this to be stable, when is it stable? I want this condition to be less than 1, order 1. If it is bigger than 1, then this is all the hell will break loose, okay. So, this quantity must be less than 1. So, that uh, delta t. So, delta t must be less uh, square by 4 alpha. Okay. So, the constants are different s square by alpha is common, but here I get 4 by pi squared and here I get 1 by 4. So, the finite difference this analysis will tell you that system is stable when my delta t is less than this. So, given alpha and h I can estimate what is my delta t min and whatever you get from estimate you decrease it even further down by factor maybe for you I would say factor 10 just bring it down by factor 10 or at least factor 5. Now, there are theories which is a good number I mean Will it will it equal to enough good enough or I should multi divide by factor at some factor factor 2 factor 4 ok. But for this course I will not dig into it we just say that this number by 10 ok it may be too tiny but it is ok I mean uh, so your delta t must be this divided by factor 10. So, this is stability condition we need to do it for uh, this scheme Euler scheme. I would not okay no so I will not recommend that you use this scheme I would say that you use Ranga Kutta second order. So, uh, we want to solve this equation so I can use Ranga Kutta 2 there is complicated issues which I okay let us first do Ranga Kutta second order then I will also tell you that you can do some uh, more clever ways. So, it turns out this system ok let us let's, let's do some more stuff then uh, I will get back to finer details a bit more. So, how will you solve is the Ranga Kuta second order this scheme this equation. So, I converted it to this equation. So, what, what is the Ranga Kuta second order? So, psi i at mid. So, n plus half will be psi i n plus alpha by s squared all that at n. So, this will give you the mid value delta t by 2. So, I go to the mid point. So, in function of time I take this I just focus on this one and I go to the midpoint in time. So, I am supposed to go to in time here delta t, but I go to this value. Then I say well I now take the final step psi i n plus 1 is psi i n plus delta t alpha by h. So, I have these values now psi i's the midpoint. So, I should use them and compute the second derivative. So, do not take this second derivative, but compute the second derivative from here, which will be psi i plus 1 n plus half Okay. So, this second uh, Ranga Kuta second order yeah. which 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 could this one yes 
Okay, so put a minus fine, that's okay. So for large enough delta t, these things as soon as it becomes negative, like what I argued there, the problem comes. So that tells you the condition for delta t, precisely the same way. Okay. So uh, diffusion equation you have to solve by running out the second order, you will be reasonably safe. Again delta t you just follow that criteria, even for Rangakuta second order just use that criteria, you can do better but it is safe. Okay. Now what is the time accuracy for Euler scheme, this, this scheme? So time accuracy will be delta t squared here, because so this first order in time, this is delta t, so error is of the order of delta t squared, error per step, error delta t squared and here delta error is delta t q. So this is what we did before, so Euler scheme error is delta t squared and Ranga Kutta is second order accurate, so error is delta t q. So here the equation was a diffusion equation, uh, we needed to worry about stability as well as accuracy. Okay. Uh, stability is critical, so what we studied for differential equation ODE is, uh, we need to worry about it for PDEs as well.